about um, being a man magnet and a man magnet for <clears throat> the type of men or man that you're you're seeking. Hi. Um, so I'm really excited to talk about this. We're going to explore this on a deeper level today. And I want to support you around understanding what that means. A lot of times we think that it's about being something super great to be a man magnet. And what I mean by that is by being something that maybe you're not. And I don't know, let me know if this rings true for you. Maybe you attract people online, you might meet people out there, <clears throat> you might meet men, and they just don't seem to be the kind of men that you feel chemistry with, that you feel a connection with, and you inevitably end up frustrated. Or the men that you do feel a connection with, maybe they don't have that same connection with you. Um, all in favor, if you've ever experienced that or you are experienced that, experiencing that in your dating life, give me a thumbs up. Hey, Helene. Hey, Tina. It's good to see you guys. And it's good to see everybody on here. I'm super grateful to be able to be here with you today. So we're talking, you know, so again, if you don't know who I am, my name is Cindy Olin. I'm a love and relationship expert. I support men and women. I don't know why I said men. I support women around becoming very clear on the kind of partnership that aligns with them and how to overcome their emotional triggers and attract and keep lasting love. All in favor of that, say I. Okay, so Helene, Tina, you guys both mentioned that you've experienced that. And, you know, look, when, when we're out there in the dating pool, the biggest thing, and this is building upon what I've talked about over the last couple of days, the biggest thing is to be clear with yourself about what you want, what's important to you, what your values are. So, you know, maybe you have maybe a value for you, a high value for you is integrity. Maybe, you know, being with someone who has, you know, is fiscally responsible or knows how to keep a good budget, you know, things like that. You know, what are your true values? So that's important to be connected with that within yourself. What's important to you? What resonates with you? Because that keeps you on the vibration of the kind of partnership that you resonate with. You know, some people really like people that are more serious. And, you know, to be quite frank, every person, you know, Every, you know, he could be your soulmate, he could be your best fit for you, and he's still going to trigger you. I love it. Christine just said integrity and respect. Um, respect is really important to men, too. Men want to feel respected. Actually, men equate respect with love. So becoming a man magnet and attracting the kind of man that is truly resonant with you may not be what you actually think. It's almost like smoke and mirrors. So hear me out when I share this with you. So if you can be present with yourself, go out there in the world, be present with yourself, be you really pay attention to how you move because this is one thing i know when we're moving fast you know who you know who is you know in a hurry often you're trying to get things done if you're moving really fast you're walking fast we're typically not conscious of what we're doing so it makes it really hard to be in flow and actually being your feminine energy. So your feminine energy is actually going to attract 
the type of people that you're interested in. Now, you know, when you're online, you can, it's part of that is an energy flow too. Part of that's your t intention around what, who you're connecting with online and having that positive intention. Because if you go into swiping or looking at profiles going, oh, there's hardly ever anybody I'm interested in. And, you know, ladies, men feel this way too. Because just like you, a, you know, a man might connect with a woman that he finds attractive, but if he can't fully connect with her, if he doesn't find commonalities or they, you know, speak a totally different language, but, you know, men and women do speak different languages, but more on that later, then he's not going to be interested in her. So, a man wants a connection just like you do. And the thing is, is not to get discouraged if you're online, you're not connecting with all of the types of people that you want to be connecting with. And if this becomes a pattern, then I would say there's something going on with your online dating profile, as well as I would recommend for you to become a little more social, to get yourself out there, go to a great dinner with friends in a busy environment, go dancing, really enjoy your life, yourself, and be open to what's in front of you. I, I say this all the time, I really do feel as if, you know, people are everywhere and you can connect with people anywhere. And if you like people, I don't know about you, do you like people? Give me a thumbs up if you do. If you like people, then become genuinely interested in them. Smile, be aware. And that creates femininity. Ask for help. That is asking for help from a handsome stranger can or, you know, just a stranger you find interesting. You could be in the grocery store, you could be like, you know, arugula or romaine. And by doing that, it puts you in the feminine persona. Men, you know, any man doesn't really want a woman that knows it all. They might like an intelligent woman, they might like someone that they feel like they can connect with intellectually, but, and if you are a know-it-all, you poo-poo his opinions, you know, think about people in your life that are constantly in competition with you. Well, as women, we can get into a space of feeling like we need to prove ourselves. We need to prove, gosh, I am, I'm worthy or, you know, I'm doing great things. So, you know, maybe you start bragging about your job. You start, you know, bragging about the things in your life and men don't want to be in competition with you. They don't, they admire you. They might be inspired by you. And, you know, I think about my values. I like to be inspired by people. I, you know, I like to be around people that we, we encourage each other to become better versions of ourselves. We see great things in each other. We believe in one another, right? So when you look at life from that perspective, what I'm trying to tell you is this, if you're getting frustrated, it's we're going to rewire your brain around connecting to what it is you want. So if things keep happening out there that I'm trying to go back and forth between Instagram and Facebook, so sorry you guys, um, I haven't quite mastered all this yet. But if you find yourself, you know, stumbling up against the wall or you meet people and you start dating them and then something happens that triggers you, right? So maybe they say they're going to call one night and they don't call, but they message you the next day and, you know, acknowledge that they didn't call you the night before. And, you know, 
the thing about attracting and being a man magnet, it has, you guys, zero to do with the fact that you look like a Victoria's Secret model or you, I actually did an email about that not that long ago and I'll share a little bit more into that. You know, it has nothing to do with that. It really has everything to do with your energy, your openness. If a man doesn't feel like he can approach you, he doesn't feel like he can have a conversation with you, he's, he's not going to bother. You could be the most beautiful woman in the room, and if there's a wall around you, which we do that as human beings because the bottom line is, is we're afraid of getting hurt. We're afraid of being exposed. We're afraid of people seeing us. And I'm here to tell you the right people really want to see you. So, and you might attract some of the wrong people along the way. The more grounded you guys are in your vision of what it is you want, and I'm not talking about just chemistry because chemistry can be the danger, danger zone in your life, but really connecting with people that actually see you. Have you, my question to you is have you been with a man that's really seen you, that accepts you, that appreciates you for you and you've been completely authentic with them? If you have, shoot me a heart. I want to know. And how did you feel in that relationship? I bet you felt really good. How did you feel around that person? Did you date them? Were you, you know, were you married to them? I talk to women all the time and a lot of times they'll tell me, gosh, I really felt that way when I was first married or I was first with him. So what shifts and changes over time? Well, sometimes it's a couple of different things. Sometimes it's the fact that you might have evolved and changed and they didn't evolve and change in a similar capacity or it wasn't truly connected in the first place. You guys really, truly weren't aligned. And if that is the case, then, it, you know, I, I speak with women all the time that, you know, we uncover deeper about what's happened in their relationships, why, you know, why this didn't work. And, and typically what I see as a pattern, because I'm really good at detecting patterns and helping you to evolve beyond that and change your mindset and your thinking, help you rewire your brain around that and attract differently, what typically what's underneath it is it was a connection that you wanted to have. It was, you know, I believe in God, so it was from out of our desires and maybe not what God's true desire was. You know, you could say God, higher power, spirit, whatever. I believe in a power greater than myself, and for me, that's God. And when it comes to that, it's about looking up and praying, you know, instead of, you know, future tripping, looking in the future, or focusing on the past, why this didn't work out, or had I done this, maybe you would have done this, focus upward and say, God, what would you have for me? And if you're compromising yourself and your values for someone, for someone else, and then something's really lopsided or things start out really good. You feel powerful. You feel like, you know, things are going in a great direction and then all of a sudden something shifts and he starts pulling back and then all of a sudden he's giving you breadcrumbs. So what do you do? That's part of the reason why I tell you guys to date abundantly and get to know people, be interested in them, watch their behavior, watch who they're showing up as, 
And I will tell you this, you will attract unavailable people as you're on this journey. What I highly, highly recommend is looking at what is it that I want? Do I want to date abundantly? Have I just got out of a marriage and I, I want to date? I want to learn who I am. I want to get really clear on what feels good and what doesn't feel good. Awesome. Go in with that intention. However, if you're in a place where you really want to meet the right person for you, then you go into it with, okay, I'm curious. What, how do I feel when I'm around this person? How do I, am I able to be myself? That's a really big deal because I can tell you one thing. I've dated men, I've been around men that for whatever reason, I feel so much chemistry that I can't be me. And I find myself acting ridiculous in my mind, or I find myself not really being, you know, putting on a mask and not being who I am truly. And that is a huge red flag, you guys. So if you find yourself in this space where you can't really be authentic, you know, practice your flirt with them, have fun, and know that that is danger, danger, because you'll never be able to, that's typically an attraction through your wounding. So here's three steps I'm going to give you today. One, stay conscious and present in your body, no matter what. If you, you know, around your house, practice walking with intention, practice, you know, the way that your hips move and feel into that energy, smile, radiate. And, you know, you know, think about how you as a woman can radiate from the inside out. For me, I, I radiate when I'm working out regularly. If I'm working out, I feel good. I'm, you know, if I'm, if I'm helping my clients, if I'm being of service in some way, I feel good. It radiates and it becomes natural. So those are things that you can do. And I ask for help, asking for help around things that I need support with, asking a man for help. So that's a really big thing too. When you're, you know, I tell my clients this all the time, go to a grocery store, ask for, you know, ask for help from getting something off a shelf. And I want you to really deeply understand this. When you start to accept yourself, the good, bad, the ugly, the things that you're ashamed of, the things that, and you know, shame can be worked through because no, God doesn't want us to feel shame. Shame is the, you know, shame is the thing that keeps us away from truly authentic relationships. So I wanna help you guys around what triggers you, how to get into that feminine energy. You know, you can be a successful woman and still get into that feminine energy. Maybe you are, you know, you are a manager or you run a company or you are in a higher level, high stress position and you are supposed to be in control. You're in your masculine energy and that piece of you can be carried over into home life. Also, when you have that type of personality, it's we have the tendency to want to control everything, want to know everything that's going to happen. And part of being in your feminine and allowing that, so taking some deep breaths, um, I put on essential oils every day, I do, uh, I think I, I posted that on my Instagram yesterday and I'll post more of that because when you can be connected with yourself 
in your body with your senses, that controlling piece, we can, we can open up to what's possible. And, you know, when we're that kind of person that controls things, we can actually come off as a little bit harsh and masculine. So it, when this is a really important piece in that attraction factor is softening up, letting go of control, not worrying about the outcome and surrendering that control to a power to something else greater than yourself. Also, continuing to connect. Do not give up dating when you've met somebody that seems really great in the beginning because, and committing too soon, you guys can be a really big mistake. And because the tendency is to want to run towards things that feel good, want to run towards, wow, this, this seems like a great connection. However, write this down. Move slower in the beginning to move faster later on. And create and have faith that the right connections will come towards you. And maybe you feel a little love starved. So if a man compliments you that you may not normally even think would be the type of person you'd be interested in, keep, you know, pay attention to that and get to know them, not just what they're doing to, you know, compliment you, make you feel good about yourself, feed into that ego space. That's not truly authentic. What you really deeply want is for somebody to see you, all of you, the good, the bad, the ugly, and don't you want to see them? If they have something in their life or have done something in the past that they share with you, they got to the other side of, are you going to think differently of them? So you guys, I hope this helps. Put, put your questions, comments, anything else. And I'm so happy that you guys are here. Also share this with a woman that you feel could benefit from this. And let me know if there's any other topic that I can support you around. Live questions are always helpful. Please post below, sending you so, so, so much love. Happy Wednesday, have an amazing day. Mwah. Facebook.